talk for a second about blush because if you're like me and I know a lot of people are actually you might be terrified of blush um, and I've started um, using blush a little bit more lately because um, well because I like the way it looks on other people <laughs> on YouTube and um, I didn't realize that I needed it and um, I've started sort of appreciating blush a lot more lately but the reason I decided to do this video is because I was sitting on the couch yesterday reading in style and I would read you the article but I'm worried about copyright stuff um, but basically it says are you wearing enough makeup and that might seem like a strange question um, especially if you're not used to wearing a lot of makeup but um, if you feel like you look washed out a lot when you see yourself in others pictures a lot of that reason is probably because you're not using blush. I, I don't have any blush on right now and I look okay but in about an hour I will look tired. Um, and I think one of the best things you can do for yourself is to actually use just a little bit of blush. You don't have to use a lot. You don't have to have the big flushed face look. You don't have to worry about contouring etc. I don't do any contouring. I would love to learn but at the moment I've been having enough issues dealing with, you know, my eyes and getting the right foundation, which I think I finally found. And um, but but blush is one of the big things you can do for yourself. And one the 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 sort of things they mention in the InStyle article is the December 2012 uh, 2011. Sorry, I'm skipping ahead a year. Um, article is is that to prevent yourself and check that you're wearing enough makeup, you need to use the right foundation, good foundation. Um, mascara and that used to be my big thing I wouldn't leave the house without mascara I still won't but that's you know the big thing and um and blush and you don't have to be scared of blush because you really need such tiny amounts of product to make such a huge difference first I thought I'd show you some of my favorites um yeah Yes, Christine, let's start with <laughs> let's start with Chanel, just because that's what everybody gets. But that's the one I've got the handiest. This is one I use when I don't want to look um, like it's like blush blush. Um, this color is called, I'll show it to you, is called um, number 15, and it's Orchid Rose. I hope you can see that because this camera does not autofocus. I hope you can see it's number 15, Orchid Rose. And that's it there. I hate it when I think I might not be recording. <laughs> okay, so that's it there. And this is a beautiful sort of peachy rosy color. And I'm going to swatch it just on my hand here. And you can see how translucent that is. You can barely see it on my hand. And it has just a a real sort of natural sort of glowy sort of look to it. Um, I use that when I don't want to look washed out but I don't want to look like I actually have blush on and it's a you can find colors that suit your skin that look like just like a w warm glow on your cheeks not like clown cheeks and that's sort of the goal with the blush for me is the warm glow look. Um, so that's one of my absolute favorites. Um, Another one that I really, really like for getting a little bit more of the pink rosy cheek color, you know, and you, you just want to look a little bit more girly maybe, or is this beautiful um, Am uh, Amazonian Clay um, Longwear Blush by Tarte. This is in Doll Face, and it's just a really, really pretty, pretty light pink. I'm going to swatch it here. There. This one here, that is the Amazonian Clay Tarte by Tarte um, Doll Face. And it's it's got a little bit more of a pink flush, but it's still just a faint flush sort of color. It's not um it's not like two pink clown cheeks. Okay, so blush, I think you should call it flush instead of blush, because it's it's just to give you like that non-dead sort of look, and blush really does help. I will put on one here at the end just so you can see. Another one that I really, really like um, is the HD High Definition Blush by Micro 
um, by micro by makeup forever um, it's a cream micro finish cream blush this it says here press slightly a small amount is all that is needed and that's very very true cream blush makes a lot of people nervous um, I quite like it um, but it is harder to okay so it comes out like that you put it on put it on your cheek and I've been using my finger to blend it out on my cheek a lot of people say to use like a foundation brush to blend it out I haven't actually tried that yet but I do like the color this is um, number 14 um, in the HD this is number 14 and it's just also just a warm flush it is harder to make it look natural I think um, and not streaky but but again that's in sort of orangey peach flush it's all over my fingers now and then I'm going to show you my favorite um, apart from well, Chanel is kind of a favorite I'll show it to you next to the Chanel but I just feel like using the Chanel is so decadent so here's the Chanel and then here's the one I'm going to show you and put on my face today um, it's a little bit pinker than the Chanel a little brighter and this is NARS and it's the NARS's powder blush in deep throat yes I know um, they have another really nice one with a bit of sparkle called orgasm it's yeah um, I'm not a prude but <laughs> it feels a little weird to tell people that I'm wearing deep throat today so I wish NARS wouldn't do that because I, I I mean I don't mind but it feels weird to tell people yes yeah, my favorite color is deep throat okay <laughs> okay so this one is more a brownie color this one is more has more pinkish tint in it and I think that the NARS deep throat goes with absolutely everything the orgasm's great no the org see it's in my head the the Chanel orchid rose is great for when you don't really want to look like you have color but the NARS looks a little like it has a bit of color and it goes with just about every lipstick just about every clothes look just about everything I just really really like it and so all I do and I'm gonna have to look in my mirror so okay so all I do right now I only have foundation on I get this is elf's um, blush brush it's really really cheap I think it's like three dollars at Target it's by elf it has a tapered point I really like it I put it softly into the blush pack off any excess and then and you're gonna get so many conflicting theories about where to put blush but I find that for just a soft soft flush it helps to put on your apple of your cheek and then in a line up here not a thick line if you want just a soft flush and um, Goss Makeup Artist, who's a really super amazing makeup product YouTuber, um, he's just fantastic. He says, "Don't put on the apples of your cheeks because what happens when you're, you know, you're smiling? You got your apples of your cheeks; they're up here, and then you stop smiling, and the apples of your cheeks sink." I think the way to get around that and still get, you know, that flushed apple of your cheek look is to only put it at the very, very top. Of the apple of your cheek not like the part that's going to be down here because he is right it does sag when you stop smiling so okay so I've tapped that in and then I just smile a little and just here on the top of the apple of my cheek and up and then you can build it to however much you like having on but see, it does make that side of my face just looks fresher, more alive, while it still doesn't look, you know, overly made up. And so I'm going to do that on my other side too. Normally I wear a headband when I do my makeup, sorry. So that that doesn't happen. But I only do it on the top apple part and then swoop it up slightly and then if you want you can just take the excess off your brush up there so that it sort of matches in color so it's not a lot it's a tiny little bit, bit and a cheap old I actually want a nicer <laughs> blush brush because uh, I'm a snob <laughs> but this is a perfectly fine brush blush brush by elf ELF eyes lips face you get at Target and 
there you go. And now I don't look as tired. I look more flushed. The look will last me longer. Even when I get tired and the color drains from my cheeks, I'll still have some. So the, the, I think the single best thing you can do for your face if you're already doing the mascara is to add a little bit of blush because it just makes you look more alive. And then if you like the more blush blush, like the more confident you get, the more you can um, add more blush or contouring. Ooh, scary thought. <laughs> But just just a little bit of flush to your cheeks it just it just really makes helps pick up your face you just look healthier more alive um nice <laughs> so there's a reason why in the old days you think you pinch your cheeks when you walked in before you walk into a room to give you that more alive more healthy glow so um those are some of my favorites that's how i apply them and um yeah hope you find one you really like okay bye bye